from Missouri. Uh, Senator Bond, um, the Speaker of the House has accused the Central Intelligence Agency of being filled with liars uh, who lied to her while briefing Congress on one of the important issues of our time. You serve on the Intel Committee. What's your response? That's great. Uh, that's really unfortunate uh, to trash our intelligence community as she's done. Uh, it only builds on the on the uh, uh, fear and the and the inward looking that's come about since the release of the opinions. I've seen the contemporaneous memos and cable traffic, and uh, they told her, uh, as far as we can tell, what was going on and uh, what they planned to do. Um. How many, uh, how many people were read into this program? How many people knew about it in 2003? Uh, it started off with the Gang of Four, which is the uh, uh, Republican and Democratic leaders of the Intelligence Committee on the House and the Senate side. Then it was moved up to briefing uh, of the leadership, uh, uh, right. uh, the majority and, and minority leaders of the House and Senate. Uh, and finally, we were briefed. Uh, the full committee was briefed, I believe it was uh, the fall of 06. Senator, has the Central Intelligence Agency, to the best of your knowledge, ever lied to you, ever given well, you false information uh, intentionally? Well, they have the, they, they don't always tell the truth when they're working abroad, but when they have dealt with us, and I've dealt with them on some of the Gang of Four notifications, they go out of their way to lay it out. They have uh, charts, they have uh, briefing points that are handed out so you can see what they're saying, you can ask them questions, and when they come before the Congress, particularly on a sensitive matter, uh, they are... Uh, exquisite in detail, take a long time, and offer opportunities for questions or comments. And Senator, uh, could you explain to Americans why the CIA, for selfish reasons, would never lie to members of Congress? Uh, what would happen if you found out that the CIA had lied to you? What negative impacts would that have on the agency? Well, number one, if somebody lied to me, we would make sure they got, they got fired. If they weren't fired, uh, uh, there would be action taken, uh, to cutting the budgets and, uh, and raising all kinds of hell with the agency. Uh, they know that they depend upon us as representatives of the American people uh, to shoot straight with them. If they don't, we control the purse. Right, and of course, that, that was my point. They would never lie to Congress because they would get crushed. The bu budget chair, the, they would be crushed in, <laughs> in, the next time they requested something. Uh, Senator, you know what I'm talking about. I cannot oh, even yeah. imagine well, e even a backbencher being lied to because it would get around and the CIA would be thrashed uh, the next time they asked for money. Well, Joe, you know that as much as they try to keep things quiet, uh, that place, uh, there's still leaks. You can still get information. We get a lot of information about the agency, but when they come over to brief us, uh, they, they have it laid out in advance. They have it written down, and uh, they, they've got the whole story. They know they better tell us straight. Senator, usually after a House Speaker... Uh, if the House Speaker would accuse the CIA of lying under normal circumstances, I would probably ask you how damaging that is to the Central Intelligence Agency and the intel community. But in this case, on the Hill, uh, is the feeling that it's probably more damaging to Nancy Pelosi because so few people believe her story? I think she really stepped in it. I haven't seen, I, I've just, I just saw the replays of some of the news conference, and it was, uh, it was a tragic uh, display. But the CIA, uh, after re the release of the opinions, already went into a CYA mode. Mm. They were stabbed in the back now. They're being called liars to their face. It really has hurt the morale at the agency and the entire community. You know, I, I also just wonder the takeaway of this story beyond the fact that the news conference was another bumbling news conference where people are now, even in the Washington Post coverage of this, sir, showing four different statements that she made over a period of time that conflict. Yeah. Um, I guess what, what bothers me is it shows a, a lack of coherence or credibility on her convictions pertaining to the issue of torture and enhanced interrogation techniques. And isn't that the ultimate loss here in, in the national conversation? 
Well, I don't know what's left of her reputation, but I can say uh, that the cables that went out after it reported that the people who had been briefed were told all about the techniques and they were really interested in the, in the kind of information that was received. They wanted to know if we were getting the information we, we needed because at the time we were all frightened about another repeat of 9-11. Mm. And uh, the, apparently uh, those who were briefed were asking, did we get enough information? Mm. Senator, uh, we've got mm. Time Magazine's Mark Halpern with us. Mark? Senator, for an ordinary American who doesn't follow this closely, what's important about the scrutiny of, of Speaker Pelosi? What questions should ordinary Americans be thinking about in terms of judging her past actions and her statements yesterday? Yeah. I think it would be very helpful if the CIA would release more of the details. Since regrettably, this has gotten to be a major subject of discussion. Uh, I think that the people, uh, that the public ought to know the accounts, uh, contemporaneous accounts made by the agency of the briefings. I really regret uh, that uh, not only the American public, but more importantly, uh, Al Qaeda and our other enemies know all about uh, the enhanced interrogation techniques and how we don't do anything to detainees that we don't do to our volunteers going into the military, the Marines, the SEALs, or pilot training. Senator Bon Willie Geist here is someone who sat in many Hi, of Willie. these, good to see you this morning, someone who sat in many of these uh, intelligence briefings. Do you find uh, Speaker Pelosi's story plausible at all, just hypothetically even, that they told her possibly that it was happening, it was, that it was on the table waterboarding, but they weren't using it? Well, I, I, I've been in briefings, and they don't have briefings to tell you the techniques they're not going to use. Uh, yeah, that, that does not, that That's a me, really good way of putting it. That dog doesn't hunt. <laughs> oh, so my you're not buying goodness. it. Uh. Not uh, that. Uh, uh, that one. Uh, I'm not buying that baby. All right. <laughs> that is. I mean, look. He makes an incredible well, point. Yeah, Why yeah, would they yeah. waste their time talking about what they're not going to do? Small talk. Well, so yeah, we, hey, we just came yeah, up. Small talk. Yeah, kind of small talk. Yeah. And we want to chat with you about a couple of crazy things. Here's what we're not we're doing. Not hey, we do. got some wild ideas. <laughs> I can tell you, those guys. Those guys come in locked and loaded. They're buttoned down. Yeah. It's all out on the briefing on the briefing papers that I have seen, and it isn't small talk. <laughs>